Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to test the REST API with port, patch and read method. We will also be using a chat GPT, so let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned about the post API testing and in this tutorial, we will be learning about the put, patch and delete. So just like a post, we will be using a put and patch. So the only difference between put and patch is that put will completely update the record whereas patch will only update the particular field. So let me take an example here to understand a bit more about put and patch here. So for example, if you have created a user, so post is to create a user here, right? Then they have an update where you need to provide the ID of that particular user so that you can update the particular user. So put will completely update this one. Okay. So here 21 is basically an ID of employee. And if I click on details, so it will take us to this particular page. Here you will see that we have a sample JSON and it contains all the fields here. But in case of patch, what happens is that if you only want to update the salary, for example, so in that particular case, you will be using a patch method. And in terms of automating in the Cypress, the only difference you will need to do is that if I go to register your code here. So here, uh, what you need to do is that you instead of a post, you need to provide put or patch and that's it. So in this tutorial, I will be using the put example so let me copy this whole code from here let's create a new file and put api dot js and let me paste here so let me remove this complete from here and instead of post we will be using a put and in a similar way you will be using a patch here so put then again put and now what we need to do is that we need to provide a url so let me go back here and provide the complete url from here and let me go to just your code again and let's provide the url here and that's it so you need to provide the method url and whatever you need to update here okay so let me save this one and now what we need to do is that let's open the test runner here and let's run this put api.js and see what happens here so when a session got failed but our api got executed successfully okay because we copied over from previous example that's why it's got failed however uh, this api is working absolutely fine here now uh, let me go here and let me create one new file for delete delete api.js so similarly i'll copy this whole code from here and paste it here and here i will be removing this assertion from here and let's have a very simple assertion here and instead of put we need to provide a delete here we don't uh, need a body because we are deleting a record here so simply i will remove this from here and now we need to provide the url for the delete as well so simply go back to the visual studio code here and let me copy this url from here and go back to the studio code and paste this url here and that's it so this is really really simple in order to working with the apis in cypress let me save this one and let's go to our test runner and we will be running this delete api.js and see what happens so our api got executed successfully and our assertion is also passed in this case now uh, let's go to the chat gpt and let's see what chat gpt suggests us in this regards so let me go to this episode automation 
and I guess I need to log in. No, but it's working. Correct. So let me go here and let me ask about, for example, how to test uh, test a REST API with port heard in Cypress. We will ask about the patch as well and we will ask about the difference between put and patch as well. So again, cr.request, we need to provide the method, the URL and whatever we need to update then put the sessions here. So this uh, totally accurate here and now let me ask about how to test REST API with patch method in Cypress. So let's see what chat GPT says. So to test the REST API with a patch method, again, see what our request. Then here we need to provide the patch here. And you see, this is very, very simple here. And it is telling us about the assertions as well. Now let's uh, ask about the delete API here. So how to test delete how to rest arrest api with delete method in cypress and let's see what it says so here's an example cy dot request and then we need to provide the delete part of this one and then we have a session here so this is what exactly we did our in our example and now let me ask about what is difference between put and patch method in rest api so let's see what chat gpt says on this one so both put and patch methods are used to use in restful api to update the resources but there are some differences the put method is used to completely replace the existing source, right? It replaces the entire source. And if the resource does not exist at the specified URL, the put method creates it. And if a resource already exists at the specified URL, the put method overrides it with the new representation. And patch, the patch method is used to partially update. So in order to completely update this one, we will be using a put. And if the particular user or the particular data is not created so put will also create that data so again this is 100 percent correct here thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial